Which copper peptide is best for my needs? This is a tough and confusing question as there are many of Dr. Picard's coppers available in different strengths, types, and even mixtures. Here at Platinum, we've chosen to offer the strongest and most pristine coppers for our customers needs. We like to keep it as simple as possible. Our clients are generally dealing with anti-aging and scarring and this is where copper really shines. First of all though, why would we want to apply copper peptides in the first place? Skin remodeling, it's the best. Why do children have such soft and gorgeous skin? That's because how quickly their skin remodels itself. An injury heals effortlessly and within weeks imperfections are quickly removed. But as we get older, that process almost grinds to a halt. Our cell replacement slows, leaving us with thinner, more fragile skin that's only replaced every nine weeks or so as compared to every three weeks for those 20 and under. Our antioxidant systems drop by 80% between the ages of 15 and 60. We have an accumulation of damaged proteins which show up as scars, sun damage, broken capillaries and wrinkles. We have a decreased production of water holding proteins and an increased breakdown of our collagen and elastin. We also have a reduction in the size and efficiency of the vellus hair follicles. That's just that fine colorless hair that covers most of our body surface. Well, those exact hair follicles are the ones that help to supply new stem cells. So when that slows down, so does our skin's efficiency to regenerate. So there are many things we need to address and copper is definitely a key ingredient to speed up your skin's remodeling process. Our skin has a powerful natural system to renew itself. With skin remodeling, the goal is to use these natural factors as much as possible. Common ingredients are hydroxy acids, biological skin oils, vitamin A, vitamin C, physical abrasion, and of course, skin remodeling, copper peptides. I want to quickly clarify what the difference between the GHK CU, which is his first generation of copper peptides, which was released after decades of research in the 1980s and the SRCP, which is his second generation that came about in the early 1990s. The original GHK copper was created for anti-aging, and then it was quickly discovered that it helped immensely with wound healing. It's a more fragile peptide, and you need to be careful what you apply with it or it will become damaged. That means that this cannot be applied at the same time as hydroxy acids or Retin-A. You'll have to apply them to the skin at different times a day or move to the second generation products. The second generation or SRCPs were created to have an enhanced potency, breakdown resistance, and a higher adherence to the skin. They are exceptionally helpful in healing wounds quickly, reducing redness and inflammation, as well as causing a strong remodeling of even intact, undamaged skin. So let's take a look at the coppers we have here in order of strength as designated on Dr. Picard's chart from 1 to 28. The first one on our list of his second generation of copper peptides is the CP Serum. This is the mildest serum with a strength value of three. This is best for oily skin, but it can be used on any skin type comfortably. CP Serum contains a combination of copper peptides and some natural antioxidants. When used together with hydroxy acids, it will help to reveal a brighter complexion with a more youthful glow. Copper peptides help to visibly tighten the appearance of loose skin and diminish wrinkles. The serum contains aloe vera gel, natural antioxidants, and amino acid glycine to soothe and moisturize the skin, but 
that is very light and you will definitely need to add hydration to this watery serum. Now you would apply this daily as one of your first products to freshly cleanse skin. Then you can follow it with other serums, then creams, then oils, and always end with an SPF if you're using this during the day. I will say that most people like to use the coppers in the evenings and something like vitamin C during the daytime. So that's a great regimen to follow if you're looking for best practice, as Dr. Burkhart doesn't recommend copper and C being applied at the exact same time. Now you can use this side by side with either our Serum 15, our Serum 30, or our Retinol Molecular Serum. Consider also adding on a chemical peel, like this Glycolic 50, one to two times per month to help with the exfoliation, especially if you're trying to remove damaged skin tissues such as scars or spotting. The next one on our list is the Super CP Serum, which has an increased strength value of eight. This is great for acne and oily prone skin types. It is an increase in strength from the CP Serum and also has a bit of salicylic acid to help with acne and milder PIH discolorations from past breakouts. The pH is still too high though, so expect to use another topical, such as our AB cleanser or a leave-on salicylic toner if you require deep pore cleansing, as this won't be able to accomplish that. Now the last one in the second generation is the SuperCop 2X. This is the strongest strength cream with a number of 28 on the scale. This is the best version to choose when you require a strong remodeling system. This works excellent for all types of scars, moles, gross on the skin, skin tags, things that you wish to be reduced or removed. And if you're applying the TCA cross method with like the TCA 30 on depressed acne scars, we highly recommend that you use this as a daily treatment to help stimulate more collagen tissues very quickly. Now, we're going to move along to the newly re-released GHK formulations. As I stated before, these are the originals. They're more fragile and are an excellent choice for those with more sensitive and drier skin types. We recommend these for those concerned more with anti-aging as opposed to remodeling of scars. Again, we'll go from weakest to strongest. GHK Lux Eye Cream has 2% of the original GHK copper, and it's given an approximate strength value of 10 in comparison to the other coppers we've talked about so far. You'll find this to be much more of an anti-aging product as opposed to a scar treatment. It's a blend of three factors, GHK, DMAE, and pephatite. This is very helpful for tightening around the upper eyelids and for a lifting effect. It's recommended for use every other day. We find that many people are able to use it every day after their skin acclimates. Another option is to alternate this with our Platinumized Restoration Therapy Cream to include all of the other anti-aging attributes into your regimen as well. So morning and evening or morning and evening, whichever you like. The next product is the GHK Crepey Skin Escape, which has 3% GHK. Its approximate strength value on that scale is 15.6. This product is meant primarily for the body use on crepey skin. It has a blend of GHK, DMAE, and puffetite along with the penetration carrier DMSO. This is also fortified with antioxidants, amino acids, and cholesterol esters to help promote fresh looking skin while fighting the appearance of loose, crepey skin. Dr. Burkhart makes an exact copy of this version without the DMSO for the face, but we don't see any issues applying it to both. If you're very sensitive though, we ask you exercise caution when using this on your face. Lightly apply crepey skin escape to any areas where the skin has become thin or loose, chest, arms, hands, legs, everywhere. 
You can add a little bit of emo oil to smooth and enhance this product as it's applied. Alternate use with our Triple Treat 25% body lotion or a chemical peel. Now remember, this cannot be applied at the same time. So either alternate the time of day or do every other day with your acids and GHK for best results. The last product I'm gonna talk about is the GHK 7% Accelerant. This has a strength of 36 on the one to 28 scale. That's because this isn't meant for usage on its own. It's an ingredient very much like our Dr. Platinum Potions collection, where you're going to add it into another product. This is super beneficial when you already have a regimen and products that you love, but want to add in some copper as well. There are a few caveats though. You cannot add this into hydroxy acids, retinoic acid, which is Retin-A, vitamin C, sunscreens that contain zinc, or into any other products that already contain GHK, like these, because they could become too strong or irritating. Now, <laughs> we always say to take that last bit of information with a grain of salt. If your skin is acclimating nicely and you wanna add some of this to your GHK products, just move forward with caution and cut back if you need to. The same thing goes for applying this full strength. It is not recommended, but that isn't an issue for some people. As always, we recommend caution. Cut back or dilute it into another product if you experience irritation. All other products are just fine to mix this into, including the second generation coppers, as well as with our retinols. Key factors. A couple of key things to remember when working with copper peptides. Less is always more. Don't overuse. Start with a few drops and work your way up from there. There may be a brief period where your skin can look worse or loose. This is perfectly normal and actually proof that the peptide is working to break down your damaged fibers. In about two weeks, you'll see things tighten and improve as the new fibers are being created and connected. Buried scar tissues can become exposed. Old scars that were covered with normal skin, for example, can raise up to the surface. You will remove these by treating them with continued copper use and by adding on hydroxy acids. Our serum 15 or 30 are excellent options as well as that chemical peel. Overuse can cause irritation. So many people start to see changes and think, well, if a little's working so well, I'm gonna add a whole bunch more. Then they overdo it and get irritated skin. If this happens to you, just take a break. Use something like emo oil or our basics essential healing blend for about three to five days, calm down your skin, then slowly add on the copper again. And this time, keep it at a lower volume. Another option is to add emo oil first as a barrier. So put this on first, then add your copper product on top. This will slow down the absorption if you're experiencing irritations. And if you're treating something sensitive like the eye area, it will help with that too. Let me end this with a few tips and tricks for skin tightening from Dr. Picard. Remember that our skin requires copper as well as vitamin C for biological skin tightening. Tightening occurs as the skin's fibroblasts pull collagen strands together. Then the collagen strands are attached to each other by the fibroblasts using enzymes. These enzymes require both copper and vitamin C to work. You can't get a tightening effect without having a high level of each in your skin. Copper two is best supplied topically. And vitamin C can be ingested by taking at least one gram daily or with a topical vitamin C that has a pH lower than 2.5. Luckily, 
Our high octane vitamin C has a pH of only two. So feel free to use either that you wish. Another tip is to take a daily supplement of one gram MSM to supply the natural sulfur that your skin needs for the production of skin proteins. I know that copper can be a bit confusing. I certainly hope that this video has helped you to choose the most appropriate copper for your needs. If you still have questions though, just reach out to us. We're here to help you. Have a great day.